Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Of course, my name is Blitzwinger, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, of course, a brand new episode of LEGO Worlds. And of course, as always, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of LEGO Worlds, please don't forget to leave a like. And ladies and gents, of course, the hunt for the dragon continues. That is exactly what we are continuing to work on, so hopefully we will indeed stumble ac across, I should say, this pesky dragon at this point. That would be absolutely amazing, because it's been uh, quite a while now. I don't know why I was uh, changed characters there. That was uh, a little weird. Uh, another thing I did want to touch upon here is that a lot of you guys actually pointed out in the comments that... Apparently the skeletons as you can see can walk underwater So that's something that if you were wondering like myself. Hey, is that true now? We know and no one is half the battle GI Joe R Right something like that. Yeah, um, all right So I'm pretty sure we're going in the right direction, but I'm not a hundred percent certain because for some reason this Planes looks a little bit different like it didn't look as Deserty before maybe I'm wrong goodness gracious that scream from the skeleton is awful <laughs> It sounds like like some weird chicken crossed with like a Terminator robot like a robot chicken wait isn't that a TV show it is isn't it <laughs> yeah but that's basically what it sounds like um all right so I'm trying to keep an eye out for some of the larger chests because those are of course super duper important and really really nice to get we have some of these smaller ones which are cool too of course because it's important to have studs to be able to purchase things once you unlock them or find them so obviously pretty important um, but the bigger chests are the ones that give you like all those cool accessories so I'm obviously on the lookout for those I know that sometimes I miss them it, honestly there's no excuses to it it's just a matter of like sometimes you're just playing and you just don't notice those things you know I just walk right by them or I'm looking at something up ahead and I don't see it in my peripheral vision so that's just something that just occurs and I apologize for when it does occur now I'm a little bit upset by the fact that this is all oh there we go there's a large chest that's already not making me upset that's for sure now I am psyched all right, let's see what we get here. Hopefully it is something sweet. All right, that is definitely not something sweet. We got a wrench. I'm not sure how exciting a wrench is. I mean, it's a wrench. That's that's kind of disappointing. I mean, let's let's take a look at it. I guess we always do look at the actual video. Nope, no, what am I doing? Okay, no, no, okay, wait. How do I go back? How do, oh, there it is. <laughs> wow, genius. I completely forgot that that's where you need to press. Uh, so let's transform back to our skeleton here and then uh, take a look at this uh, ranch of ours. So where is it? There it is. Item spanner? Why is it called a spanner? Are those things called spanner? I mean, clearly they are, but I just... Hmm. I always thought that that was a type of a wrench. Okay. Now I'm slightly embarrassed because maybe I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have been calling these things wrenches this whole time What is that? Are those pokeballs down there? Is that Voltorb like the Pokemon? Oh, never mind. It's just mushrooms, but you have to admit from the top there They did look like pokeball like from far. I was like what did they add pokeballs into this imagine Lego Pokemon? Oh my goodness wouldn't wouldn't that be amazing guys a Lego Pokemon game. I mean come on That would be so cool Oh, I'm just tr thinking the possibilities like Lego Charizard and the little evolutions and stuff. Ooh, that would be so cool. In this type of world where it's like huge and you get to just run around. I'm sure that at some point somebody will come up with a mod for this. Because they did, they made Pixelmon, right, for Minecraft. So maybe if this game becomes big enough and somebody bothers who like has good coding skills and stuff like that and figures out how to do that. We might have a Pokemon mod at some point in the future. That would be amazing. I would love to see that. That or Digimon, that would be cool too. I mean, any of those would be really neat. But back to my Canadian Tire story, which is uh, basically kind of like Home Depot. We have Home Depot as well, but uh, Canadian Tire is the more Canadian loyal brand, I guess. But yeah, maybe I, I shouldn't be calling these things ranches anymore. I should just walk up and be like, hey, you guys got some spatters? I don't know why I've never heard that word even before a spanner. Maybe that's like the British way of saying it or something I'm not sure That's interesting. Let me know guys. What do you call these things? Do you call them spanners? Or do you call them wrenches or do you not care? Because <laughs> that's probably the answer, but I don't know I just sometimes I find language 
interesting especially like obviously english is not my first language so i'm constantly trying to learn more and more words and try to pick up more and more words so that i'm more comfortable uh with the language itself Ooh, and speaking of things that i'm comfortable with i am very comfortable with finding another one of these large chests so that's awesome even though we have not seen any dragons we do have this chest let's see what we got here all right i think that's a rifle but you never know maybe it's called a shingamajingi and I've just been mispronouncing... Okay, it is a rifle. We're safe. Ladies and gentlemen, we are safe. The world has not gone completely crazy. That is still a rifle. That still is considered to be a rifle. Even though I'm sure somebody in the comments will say, Well, technically, that could also be called... And then they'll write the synonym for it or something along those lines. Um, Alright, so let's see. Um, It seems like this island has come to its uh, conclusion... Wait, is that... A Guys, do you see that? Is that a cow in the tree? That Guys, there's a cow in the tree. There's a cow that's literally like Spider-Man. Like, you know how usually they'll have, like, calls about, Oh, hello, there's... Uh, my cat is stuck in a tree. That's, like, the classic thing. In the Lego world, you call to the police to uh, and the firefighters to try to get help with your cow. They're like, hey, you know, um, Betty, she's stuck in the tree again. Yep, she was mooing her way up there, and, um, uh, yeah, it happened again. It has happened again. Ooh, what is that? Is that a new vehicle? Oh, yeah, all right, we got a boat. We're on a boat. Okay, now I just need to figure out how to get on this thing. Okay, stop. Okay, there's the little E button. So I just need to... Uh, come on. You can do this. Any minute, I just need to get the time. There we go. Wait, it's called a dinghy? Okay, my, like, brain is getting, like... <laughs> with all these new words. Like, what's up with that? I thought that's considered to be a boat. Is that not a boat? It's like a float boat. A motor boat. No? Because, I don't know. Wow, what do you call those? I guess it's called a dinghy. That is so weird. And that sounds like a really funny word. Dinghy. Hey, what do you got there? It's a dinghy. Like, I don't know. There's something really weird about that word. All right, but something that isn't weird is this uh, additional island that's, like, right next door to the one that we were in before. Oh, and look what we see there. There's two chests, two large chests in proximity, so close to one another. Yes. That is awesome, so awesome. All right, I am super duper psyched about that. Yes, please. All right, even though this chest looks like it's going to be full of just dirt. Ooh, we got a sword. That's going to be awesome for our king. There we go, there's our king. And look at that. Very appropriate. The king looks absolutely boss. That looks awesome. I do like that quite a bit. That was a great tool to find. So let's see what we get in our second one here. Hopefully it's something just as cool. Come on. All right, it's a club. The king club. Actually, no. We have better characters that could use that. Um, so we could use, of course, the caveman. Um, and then technically, oh, I forgot to buy these characters. Let's just do that real quick. Uh, the Yeti! The Yeti, of course! The Club Yeti! The Yeti Club! And I don't mean like a dance studio or club place. I mean, like, the club, the thing that we have in hand. That's what I meant to say. Even though it would be kind of cool to have a dance club called the Yeti Club. Hello, everybody! Welcome to the Yeti Club! <laughs> that would be really cool. Um, alright, so, what is this? This area looks different, doesn't it? These trees look unique. Is this a different area, like, in terms of a biome? I don't think we've been here before. It's got floating flowers, like many other biomes have, so that's something. But it looks to be very tiny. Oh, monkeys! Yay! All right, I was really happy that most people were so happy about the monkeys last time. Because I was like, I'm pretty worried about <laughs> the monkeys thing. I was like, oh, I don't know if people are going to find them as adorable and awesome as I did and then luckily most of you guys were like monkeys awesome they're in the game now because they were in addition with the last update because prior to that they weren't actually in it um, so it looks like again the island just kind of curves outwards so let's head this way again I'm kind of blown away by just how much sand there is in this world like to be fair we've only explored two worlds but this one has a lot more deserty biomes like I don't think the first one that we were in had nearly as many. We had way more green uh, in the world, whereas this one is covered and covered in desert biomes, so that's something. Ooh, I like the animation on the clubbing attack. That looks pretty cool, I have to admit. That look pretty neato. Uh, so let's march our way over here. Ooh. Wait, is that a sheep? We don't have a sheep unlocked, do we? 
All right, let's do that. We, we gotta we gotta get the sheep unlocked so that when we eventually set up our house and we have like a little farm, we already have cows unlocked. We have monkeys, of course. Monkeys aren't like <laughs> particularly known for farm animals, but uh, we have horses. We have uh, cows. We need sheep. And I wish they would add chickens because then we could have kind of like the traditional animals that you would see at a farm I guess some people would also say like pigs are also I guess traditional wait did We already unlocked the sheep We must have already unlocked the sheep before this really okay. Let's check We did um, oh, okay. We did all right. That's surprising That is very 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 surprising because I didn't think that we hadn't locked that uh, particular animal yet, but I guess we have hmm I guess I have a memory issue there. Gotta remember more things. Remember things, Blitzwinger. Note to self, remember things. That's just a tip in general for life, guys. It's just to remember things. Pretty important thing to be able to do. This tree looks weird. It's like a durian. You know that, like, really stinky fruit? I think it's a fruit. I'm pretty sure it's classified as a fruit, but even if it isn't, it's that stinky thing uh, that a lot of shows oftentimes eat as like a dare or something like that because it's so bad apparently it smells like rotten and stuff like that um all right this biome looks kind of interesting it looks a lot more ruggedy still kind of deserty but a lot more rugged and different looking Ooh, look at that two chests next to one another even closer than previous two <laughs> what's up with that horse he doesn't want us to be there he's like get out get out of here Ooh, binoculars i'm sure they don't work as binoculars i mean we could try i guess just to see if they do uh, but I wish that things like the camera and the binoculars in the future, like with future upgrades to the game, will actually function as binoculars. Like you'll be able to zoom in and stuff. Uh, but let's see what we have in our second chest here. Come on. It's not like I said chest here. I meant chest here. Is that a telescope or a bazooka? I'm not sure. Oh, it's a bazooka! Whoa! <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at this thing! Whoa! Wow! Okay, it's a Yeti with a bazooka. That's the first time that I've ever said that and seen that, so that's something. Unless if somebody has crafted some sort of weird cosplay of that. Look at this! Whoa, I love the effect. I love that the explosion effect is also like little Lego pieces. There is something really neat about that too. Oh man! That is so awesome. Seriously. All right. So there we go. That's a very much worthwhile accessory right there. So I am pretty stoked about that. That's definitely something that is very, very, very cool to see. Awesome. Man, that is really neat. All right. Speaking of neat, um, we have this big, neat mountain right here, which I have a hunch that we may just meet that dragon up on this mountain tonight. Makes me think of that Ed Sheeran, um, Hobbit? Was it the Hobbit song that he did? Which was really cool. I really like that song. And, uh, unfortunately, my hunch might have been incorrect. I mean, we do have a pretty cool mountaintop, so we got that going for us. It does look quite neat, uh, but not, not spotting any dragons, which... <laughs> That's my frustrated noise there. <laughs> it sounded like I had bubblegum stuck in my teeth or something, but I was just being frustrated about the fact that uh, we didn't have any dragons. But we do have cherry blossoms. Uh, explosive cherry blossoms, apparently. Thanks to our bazooka, but yeah, that's something. So um, we can enjoy some cherries. And no, I know that cherry blossoms don't have cherries on them. That was a joke. All right, let's see. At least we do have some beautiful cherry blossoms to look at. Whoa! And we also have a bunch of water to look at. Hmm. Yeah, I'm intrigued, though, to find out if there's anything beyond this island. So I guess we're going to summon in that boat. I mean, dinghy. And hop on on to this thing. And let's go exploring. Because after all, that's part of the whole shtick in this game. It's exploration. I mean, that's really... That, I would say that's the main goal of this game right now. Because, as my, well, building, I guess, is also quite a big part of it. Uh, which we haven't really touched on very much, just slightly. What? This is a swamp? Really? Where's the swamp? Is this like the thing below us? Is that considered to be a swamp? Because this swamp is super, super duper underwater. <laughs> uh, speaking of underwater, though, I really hope that they add things like underwater as well. Like maybe over time there'll be like a little area that you could walk into and it's like, whoa, Atlantis or something. Uh, that would be really cool. Usually when we see these little terrains, that's when I try to like 
climb towards stuff? Whoa. What is this? This looks like an ice or snow biome, but it looks very weird. What are these things out here? Look like little generators or motors. I don't even know what they are. We locked them, so that's good. We'll be able to use them. I love how they have a little animation to them, so that's neat. And let's get rid of that one, because, uh, well, why not? No, that's not a bad idea. Ooh, look at this. Speaking of little secret passages, when I said with the underwater stuff, there's a cave right here, which looks neat, but whenever we've explored these caves, we usually end up falling through the world, so I'm going to stay away from those for now. Whoa! Look at this beautiful sight right here. This looks quite neat. And uh, something that I am very much looking forward to exploring on the next episode of LEGO Worlds. So, of course, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of LEGO Worlds, please don't forget to smack that like button. Share the video with your family and your friends. And I do indeed hope to see you lovely folks here next time. Peace out. See you later. Alligators. Oh, yeah. And, of course, guys, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.